Just before we start this movie on teamwork, I'd just like to briefly discuss the main file types. So once a file has become a teamwork file, its extension changes to PLP. This is the main file that everyone shares. This is an icon and once that file is shared, the local draft or the file that the individual users use is called the local draft or the .plc file and this is the logo for this file. If you'd like to create a file or a project that more than one person is going to work on then try using the teamwork capabilities of Archicad. In this example we're going to create a teamwork file. After we have done this we're going to sign in as two separate users, then we are both going to sign out. After deleting the local drafts of both of these files, we'll end up with just the original file. First thing we have to do to share this project is go to the Teamwork drop-down and click on Share this project. When we share the project, we have to set key passwords. We can't get past this without setting these passwords. I'm just going to call it admin and I'm going to control C, copy that, set the administrator password and, I, and I'm going to make that exactly the same. It's asking me to confirm it. I'm going to make that the same also. Then I'm going to set a team leader password. I'm going to make this identical. Archicad doesn't mind if the password for the team leader and the administrator are the same. If I push OK, I'm going to leave this on open access so new users can sign in at any stage and I'm going to add a new member. The new member can be Laz. Push OK. Then I'm just going to click the share button. I'm going to type in the admin password again. Push OK. Now it's asking me to save the file into a directory. I've prepared this file earlier on so I can save it into a shared project folder and we're saving a PLP file. Push save. So now I'm going to create myself as a teammate. Got my name there. I can enter a password if I want but if you trust everyone else in the team it's probably better not to. And then I push next. By default it reserves a whole project for the person who's about to log in but I'm interested in the limited by marquee option there. So if I click on the marquee tool, select a double marquee, I'm just going to drag a marquee over this part of the building. Then I click on next. Next, I just want to take everything that's there. I want access to all those. I can also create a cache library somewhere if I want to, what I don't want to. And then I just say sign in. So my area now is clearly marked with a green marquee with my name on it. I own everything in the marquee including the items that start in my area and extend out of it. One of the main reasons it's a good idea to use a marquee tool to share a project is that you can happily work away in your area with little thought for what anyone else is doing in the file and I know nothing will conflict. I can also drop an element outside my workspace quite freely and those elements are still freely available to me even after I send and receive changes. If I just zoom in a little bit we can see if I click on this object here the info tag is saying it's not in my workspace however if I click on the slab if I click on a slab I can still select this because it actually originates from my half. I can also place items outside of my project and still freely move them around and edit them. I can drag it into my area and back out of my area. So if I was to do some work in here and grab a wall and after I've done a bit of work, I know that wasn't much work, I can send and receive changes. For this I go up to Teamwork. I can send and receive changes or just receive changes. I want to send and receive changes. 
I can put my name in there and a password and some comments, but I'm just going to push send and receive. In a teamwork file, if ever a warning message comes up, make sure you read it very carefully. Up here we've got warning. You have created new elements outside the boundary of your workspace. You may now release them for other teammates. Warning, releasing them will create a new sign-in ID for you, making your current drafts invalid. At the moment, I'm going to keep them reserved for myself. So now that, they've, now that I've done a send and receive, I can go back to those columns and still edit them and move them quite freely. However, if I do a send and receive now, but this time I'm going to release these objects for other teammates. Now, if I try and select these objects, the info tag is now telling me that it's not in my workspace, so I can't edit it. But what I can do is copy it, Control C, and paste it. Control V and now I have an object that I can move freely into my space or back out once again. I'm just going to save my file, saving it as a local draft, a PLC file, into the shared project folder. Now I'm just going to sign into that same project as David. Now I want to sign as, as David and, we, and before we actually sign in we can see that we have a whole heap of conflicts here and this, this is because by default Archicad's trying to give me ownership of the whole file. So once again I'm going to click on the marquee tool and define another area. As soon as I do that all the conflicts disappear. I push next, next, I want ownership of all those items and push sign in. Once again my sign in is clearly defined by the green marquee and the name of the current user. I can also work in this file quite independently away from the main file by going file, save and save a teamwork or a local draft which is a PLC file. So I'm just going to call this David and push save. Now I can actually take this file to another computer or to home or somewhere else away from the main file and work on it. So now I'm just going to get out of here and open the initial file up again. So now I'm just going to open that original PLC file up. So we can see that the original file has my login. So now if I go send and receive changes. We can see now that it's recognized David's login and it still thinks David's logged in although he's not and we can see the green marquee which is me and it means that I'm actually logged in at the moment. So as far as David's concerned this job at the moment is not active. As Laz I'm going to sign out and I'm just going to sign in to the original PLP file over here David's there so now I'm going to sign back into the original file
So now the file recognizes that Laz has actually signed out and I'm obviously David now. So now I just need to sign out as David as well. I'm going to send the changes, send and receive and sign out. So the PLC, the local draft file, will still be available and when we close everything off we still have the main PLP file which is the main teamwork file and the local drafts are still available however they're not linked to the main file. So when the job's completely finished we need to delete these files. Make sure you delete the right make sure you delete the right one. So we're left with just the main PLP file. So we're just going to repeat that process again. This time we're going to look at the integrated layout. With the introduction of the integrated layout in ARCHICAD, the teamwork functionality has been extended to the assembly of documents. So first of all, I'm going to sign into that same project. So when signing into this project, I'm signing in as a teammate. Yes. And over here I can reserve my workspace, so I'm not going to touch anything there. I can also reserve some elevations and sections, which I'm not going to do there. I can also reserve some detail drawings, which I'm not going to do, but I'm going to reserve a couple of plans. Push next. And then over here, we can check our workspace once again and set other options before I sign in. But I'm just going to sign in. Now I'm just going to go to the layout book in Navigator. Immediately we can see which layouts I have access to and which ones I don't have. The layouts with the two little faces on the icon are the ones I can't get into and if I actually go to the layout settings and I go down to the bottom the OK is greyed out which means I can't touch them. So basically no change can be accepted. Then if we go and have a look at the master, we have a look at the master. If I right mouse click on the master, get the settings. Once again we can see it's dimmed out, I can't touch it. These masters can only be changed by the team leader signing in with exclusive access. If you have a teammate that is helping you assemble some documentation, he or she can use the organizer. So if I go to the project chooser and show the organizer, then this teammate can go in and use the organizer to create new layouts. So your teammate can easily use the organizer to create new layouts using views reserved for others and duplicating existing layouts if necessary.